me, make a flag, uh, okay. The only rule that I kind of set for myself was to create something that was kind of visually engaging enough to create a question or to at least just start off the question of why. I was beginning to develop a new artwork called Relic Traveller, which imagines a future version of a Pan-African Union, which essentially uh, looks at ideas that surround uh, lost testimony within a, a moment of former fallen empire, in this case, uh, the British Empire, a kind of like, almost like memoir type fashion of, of, of people's experience of, of living uh, and being a part of the other diaspora or the experiences of being a person of colour and living in the UK. Working from Somerset House Studios, I was jotting down and designing what I would, was hoping to kind of uh, create as like flags or patches. I was thinking a lot about these designs and how I might use them in the video work, but then I was kind of approached with this possibility of creating something that would be hoisted up on top of the building. The, the conversation with Somerset House kind of came at a really great kind of chance moment. How better to kind of start this conversation, even without the other video work being completed? You know, how do we deal with these, these remnants or aspects of, of, of symbolism on, on a grand scale? My hope was to focus on a, uh, a design or set of colours that looked at uh, Pan-Africanism the context of Africa in, in that sense of prosperity, resources, the people, plant life and nature, and, and how that becomes a part of a, an ecosystem. I thought a lot about the, uh, the use of black stars, this, this idea of, of using stars as responding to the nations as we know it. So there, there are 54 currently uh, known African nations as, as, as it were, and how that might become part of a, a formation and thinking about movement, ascension, and, and how that can play a, a positive role within a, 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 an image that, that of course is, is being held on quite a high platform. For me, I guess the challenge there was to, to create something that rose out of this idea of flags that have been used or co-opted or associated, not just with Brexit, but, you know, colonial history. So, you know, if we're thinking about the, uh, the, the St George's flag or the Union Jack, you know, imagery that, that is very synonymous with, with the colonial past. My approach is really not to um, try to even subvert or even invert any of those colours. In fact, to kind of go beyond that, to create something new and to have a conversation around um, migration, bringing forth the communities that have been here for, for a very long time. How do we include that within such a, a monumental scale? How do we use that as a gesture? By creating a work that stands out so openly in the public, it kind of no longer becomes mine and belongs more to the people who are you know, walking around the Strand or Waterloo Bridge day, day by day. All that I really want from this is for conversations to happen. And I think naturally with conversations, you know, uh, people get inspired or that leads on to other things. And that's all I've really wanted to do with my practice is to kind of like bring a conversation to the space, whether that's the elephant in the room or to simply just expand on a set of ideas that, that I've been thinking about. <laughs>